Good morning, Elvin Mark here. Today we are in the central area of Singapore and we're gonna paint this building called Parkview Square. Many locals dub this the Gotham Building of Singapore. <laughs> Isn't that Batman? Elvin Mark here. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning back here again, thank you for tuning in. You know, I'm a painter, so I, I go all over Holy Singapore yeah. to paint. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually professional. Professional. Yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Wow, 8.25, that's really early for a spot check. This is the first time that it has ever happened to me. But on a side note, just to let you know that what I'm doing here in Singapore, it's really uncommon. I mean, there are a lot of sketches and watercolorists, but not oil painters. So this building here, Parkview Square, it is an office space and it's one of the most expensive office buildings here in Singapore. We'll see why in a moment. This is designed in Art Deco style and the inspiration drew from New York, 1929. A chain in building. I think that building is located midtown Manhattan. Pause for thought. Why did they ever bring in the double-decker bus into Singapore? The interior surface of the building is clad in brown granite, bronze lacquer and glass. Here's another tip to note. I decided to paint from this ground level and it's about a feet, two feet below street level. What it does is it puts me on a lower angle so this building looks more grand, it looks more majestic. George Lucas would always use this term false perspective. Uh, I think he used it when he was filming his Ad Ad Walkers. He shot it from an angle so that it looks a lot larger on screen. There's an event happening inside the building right now. So let's go catch up with the rest of the urban sketches and find out what's happening. So some of the tenants are the Honorary Consulate of Oman on the 4th floor, Embassy of UAE or United Arab Emirates on the ninth floor. Fancy. Going up. Yeah. from 29 artists and I'm sad to say that despite talking about contemporary society we only have two female artists in this exhibition so you're looking at one of them um, her name is Carla Marti and this work is entitled uh, ST number no. 7 so this is one of my favorites in a sense because she uses quite advanced so-called contemporary uh, technology to create this I'm just wondering if anyone wants to guess what this is made of without looking at the wall 3D printer? Yeah, it's 3D printing. Yeah. So an interest about Carla Marti's um, artistic <coughs> practice is that she likes to challenge the notion of purity and origin, original. Yeah. Her question is really, is there anything original on earth? Yeah. So what she tries to do with this work is that she likes to work with flowers and she would put the flowers into their very basic unit. So she basically breaks it up. And then she would try to recombine different kinds and parts of flowers together. And then she would print it out, writing a software algorithm to print this out. So whatever that you're looking at there, perhaps the question is, I can recognize a certain part of it, but I don't recognize the rest of it. So it feels like there are a lot of hybrids 
happening around. So with that, I've come to the close of a very short intro, uh, and feel free to just roam around, sketch. Uh, I'll be walking around, so if you are interested or curious about some of the artworks, I could also talk a bit more about it. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. That's a Dali, according to James. <laughs> he was the one who uh, organized this for us, he and Don Lo. So can you kind of tell now why it's one of Singapore's most expensive buildings? I bet the restroom is really fancy too. Okay, normal. <laughs> it was really difficult to find a location or a spot to paint. This place is just so filled, so heavy with motif and sculptures, very ornate. Um, but I decided on this corner over here with this Egyptian hmm, princess holding a lamp. Uh, right where the bar is. The bar is called the Atlas. It's closed right now. And uh, my friend Trisha, she's sketching over there, but she told me that um, a little backstory here that that little contraption there would hoist a fairy, a lady with wings in green, <laughs> up and down, and she would uh, pick drinks from uh, the bar counter for the guest. Thanks for the tip, Trish. <laughs> Let's see what she's working on. Ooh, perspective. And that is a wrap, folks, from Parkview Square. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Show and Tell. It's not the official sketch walk weekend, so smaller group, but still sizable. Let's go check out what everyone did. We will also want to hear what you guys want to talk about, about your artwork for the next year. So, <laughs> this sketch walk is an event. So, is there any volunteer who wants you guys can volunteer each other. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i yeah, that's it. Any questions for Juan? He learned from well, the spirit well, already. I came <laughs> all the way to study the fire and the future. <laughs> oh, it's just that the only subject in which I feel very comfortable for then also study relationship of the scabbat barcode patterns. <laughs> Then the next one is I took a contour drawing of figure. I'm trying to improve figure drawings all the time. That's all I can say. <laughs> I just like experiment and I wanted to practice with my faces. So, <laughs> wow, very really good. <laughs> and then uh, I drew this, that one over there. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to try and draw a cloth. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Lights. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you find, you find the next one? Why is it you draw? Why you draw that? What's the technique behind? Yeah. Uh, it's like, so basically yeah. it's a planet knife and then so I just enjoy the planet knife uh, flow on it. And then it's like, so I'm trying to capture some of the 
texture of the fabrics and then the tone, that kind of things because I have a series uh, uh, in the bars on, on all the uh, fabric painting. Yeah, that's all about it. Yeah. I was just walking around before the sketchbox started and I was quite interested to capture an interplay between maybe two different artworks. So from a certain perspective, and this figure kind of attracted me because it reminded me of, I think, Giacomotti, so very skinny figures. So, uh, and since Italian, I thought it could look a bit Irish. So it was just a contrast between something which I thought I could make it black and white and something colourful because I like colours. So, the, um, to conclude this uh, session, we would like to have a group photo taken mm -hmm. together with the artwork. So once again, thank you for following my channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. If you enjoyed the content, remember thumbs up. And if there's something that you want to see, if there's a location that you want me to paint, or there's a particular material that you want me to talk about, do comment and let me know. I'm making this channel especially for you. Until the next Sketching Singapore episode, ciao ciao.